So this is going to be a quick little overview of how to install and get F model up and running. So first thing you need to do is go to the GitHub page. So here is the GitHub page. I'll put the link in the description. If you scroll down, there will be download the latest released here. So it's just literally just down the page. Scroll down and you will see download. Click the download and it will begin to download. You can see here it is a zip. It is not too bad. So what we then need to do is move this into our dungeons modding so I'm going to make a new folder here and I'm going to just going to call it tools into that out <coughs> and then we're going to drag it in there and unpack it so I've got this here if I go to downloads and then just drag it into here there we go there's F model into our tools so we're then going to go and extract it extract all extract done so you can see here that F model is here so we go into F model folder and we're going to double click F model. So the first thing that's going to pop up is this thing here. Uh, don't worry about detected game. All you need to do is click on these three little dots here and tell it where your dungeons is. So for clarity, my dungeons is in G uh, games dungeons and then 1.10.2.0 uh, dungeons content packs this is where we need to go to it's where you would have moved dungeons to when you made it mod ready so we're going to select that folder there it's done it's found it it says packs and like this so we press ok and then it will load up now it may look a bit weird and a bit odd but don't worry we'll go through it so we just resized that so we've got two different types of files here we've got the lit up ones and we've got the grayed out ones so the grayed out ones are unavailable because they are encrypted and we need a key to gain access the lit up ones we can access so we're only interested in the um, grayed out ones because they're the original dungeons ones and not the ones that we've created so we're going to have to go back and get the AES key now if you haven't got the AES key you can get it from the Dukacraft discord server otherwise you can, should be able to get it from your text file now the only thing I may stress is make sure you're using the right key because it almost changes every update but anyway we're going to go directory AES and then it pops up with the AES manager here what to do we just need to paste it in here press OK and all of these here have now lit up so we're all good to go to open them up so what you need to do is scroll up back up to the top make sure you've got pack chunk zero highlighted scroll down to the bottom and hold down shift and click on the last pack in the file um, they're all lit up there you just literally click make sure it's on a loading a multiple not single um, multiple and not all and then click load what we'll do it will take a minute and it will go off and it will load those PAK files so now we have access to browse everything within dungeons now the only thing you must take note of is here it says game e uh, UE for latest this needs to be changed otherwise you may not be able to read some stuff and you'll get some errors so we need to go into settings we then need to go down to here UE for versions and we need to change this to 4.22 or 4 underscore 22 so click that and click OK this is say you need to restart so it's just restarted now unfortunately when it restarts you do need to load the PAK files up again so that's not too hard we just need to click on the top one go down click on the bottom one and click load here you go you can see it's loaded and we can see all the content again so we need to go dungeons content and here we've got all the stuff so if you want prefabs you need to go into decor prefabs here if you want to view the map data it's here if you want to see the actors they're here so we've got um, characters and equipment items all sorts of stuff if you want to see the DLC stuff mainly it's in here these files here again this will be broken down into actors components um, a decor and UI so you can use prefabs from um, DLC content um, and the actors are here um, one thing to note is that you should be able to view textures and stuff so let me have a look and see if I can get you a texture um, that everyone knows let's have a look at the creeper here um, so what we do is we click on the folder here it's highlighted it's got eight assets in that's what that little symbol there is with the eight is like the chicken jockey has got three and then we go over here up the top to the sub or the other folder here and it will show you all of them here so the, anything with a BP in is a blueprint this is a physics asset this is a skeleton this is a material that is uh, an SK I 
don't really know. I can't. It's a skeletal mesh, so it does tell you when you in, open them up. And this is the uh, spectacular or something. And this is the T underscore without the S on the end is the texture. So if we double click this, you should see that it has all the information on the left side, and then it shows you the little picture of it on the right side, which is all good. You can open pretty much any file in here to view and to browse, and you can also export them by right clicking and going export data or save properties or save texture. So you can save export and do things and you can copy the file name paths and directories which is really handy so if you wanted to know where something was or you wanted to change something you could use this use this content here use the um, file name and you would be able to replace stuff within the game um, I only use this as a browser to find information here and other stuff and to know what sounds to change and things I don't necessarily use it to extract data as a in a whole just to gain little bits of information so we could do sounds as well and I can't even remember where the sounds are because I don't do it very often um, I will try and have a look now I think the best thing to do is to search it's not settings so you can go view search and then SFX um, so this is a search it will only search the folders and the names of the files within the folders it won't search contents within the files that would be crazy and it would be, it would be good but it would probably take a long time so people don't do don't tend to do that so you should be able to listen to the sounds on here I don't do it very often so I've just double clicked that sound and I've gone in so this is arrow sound and it doesn't want to work there is some sounds. I think I'm in the wrong folder. Uh, let me try this one. There you go. So some sounds work. Some sounds just got to be careful. There are unsettling rumblings in the mountains of the overworld. Whispered rumors say the Illages are built. Yeah, so the sounds work. The They're pretty good. I don't know what that. The was. village is burning. No. The village is burning. So yeah, you can listen to sounds, you can view textures, and you can view details about all the information in the game. It is a really powerful tool to use, um, and you can gain a lot of information from it if you needed something um, just by having a look and a browse. I mean, I don't know what half this stuff is. Um, some people do, some people don't. Um, there goes a background fade. There. I don't know if you saw that, or was it inventory? Something came up with a picture there. So it's a good little tool. Um, I use it to gain, like I said, folder structures and stuff, especially when you're adding uh, prefabs in and levels. Um, this, If you go onto levels here, you can actually view how the level structure is and how it works. And it's always nice to go through and see uh, how do they do this? How do they do that? And you can go through and have a look like um, or what mobs. So you've got a desert mix mob here. So you can copy that, you can search and you should be able to if you keep going you can find the desert mix here and it will tell you what mobs are in it so you've got enchanter and skeleton the vindicator husk a creeper a necromancer difficulties and um, everything like that so it's yeah it's it's quite good it's um, informative and I strongly recommend it it's a worthwhile tool that you will need if you're going to mod dungeons definitely well that is it i'm not going to go any more on it because i'll just ramble on about useless information go off get f model download it install it run it and have a look for yourself and you'll see what is about so anyway hopefully this video has helped you um don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos and i'll catch you again soon